Greetings, I'm the artificial intelligence who will be assisting you. System activated. Hey everyone, Dean Willett with RETV. Today I'm joined by Kevin at Academy Mortgage and we're going to talk about a program that they have that is very unique to the industry and I can speak from experience, it works. Kevin, welcome. How are you doing, Dean? There are a lot of people your big marketing program right now is we can close a loan in 10 days or less. There are a lot of skeptics out there. Yes. And I'll admit, I was one of them too. Yes. And I've used you guys for a while. Well, I had a loan recently that could not get done in 45 days by another business. We took it to you. You went from app to docs in three business days, which is just amazing. Can you tell us how you do that? Yeah, absolutely. The, the key is having the right people in the right place. We have everything in-house here. So we have underwriting, closing, docs, everything can happen within 10 feet of my office. So when in a case where we have a rush or someone that has to close quickly, I can take that file, I can put it to the front of the line of processing, of underwriting, of docs, so we can get those, those loans that need to get out quickly, fast. And that's exactly what happened with your loan. Now, I've, I've seen it happen in a few loans now. It's been three loans I've done in 10 days or less. There has to be some limitations though. What limitations may there be? Well, the, the we were very worried that when we launched this program that everybody would do the 10 day close and then plug up our system. But that's not the case. A lot of times loans don't have to close in 10 days. They can close in two or three weeks with no problem. So a lot of times that leaves room for the rushes and the ones that we have to get done fast the percentage is still low enough to where it's not plugging up our system and we're able to do the ones that need to close quickly, we can get them done. Now, are you running into a lot of situations where conditions are coming up which are causing you not to be able to close the deals that quickly? Uh, in rare instances, that does happen. You know, Obviously, the industry has squeezed us quite a bit, but as long as the borrower is able to provide us with all the documentation we ask for, and it's pretty standard, everyone asks for the same stuff, taxes, W-2s, bank statements, once we have that, we're fine. I mean, there's generally, we follow the DU findings, and as long as we meet all those requirements, we really don't have a lot of overlays that would cause a loan to take longer. Now, how come you can do this in 10 days or less, and other major banks can't get it done in 30 days? I think a lot of times it has to do with the, the uh, centralization of the process. In other words, someone's taking your app, say in Arizona and it's going off to California for processing, then it might even go to Denver for underwriting. You're, you're having the file move around to a lot of different places to get approved. And they're, they're so backed up that it, sometimes it's difficult for them to get things out even within 45 days. Uh, and, and with us being able to push the process quicker, we have that ability and that power here. So basically having in-house underwriting, in-house stock drawing, all that stuff is what allows you to do it? Absolutely, yes. And why do you think other banks don't have that? You know, I, I think that the, the model, if you look at it on paper, it makes sense to maybe just put all underwriting here, all processing here, all closing here. But in reality, it doesn't help the customer that's over here. You really want to have everything right there where the loan is being originated at so that you have the ability to rush things and push things when you need to. When you start setting up the silos, of separate, separating the, the sales and the, uh, and the processing part, I think that's where the breakdown occurs and a lot of times things get bogged down and, and they're just not able to move it through quickly. All right, Kevin, thanks for your time. Thank you, Dean.